Here it is, the white chore coat in cowhide. It's gorgeous. I am so pleased. Now, I know people may have had doubts <laughs> when I pulled up that white leather and I showed it and there was like lab coat comments and this and that, but this thing is stunning. This thing is absolutely stunning. Look at this. And it's much, um, much thicker than the first one I had made in sheepskin. And I did not have it lined, so it's unlined, which I like because I can wear it uh, when it's, the weather's a bit, uh, a bit w uh, warmer. But it's, it's stunning. When, he, when I walked in and he had it on a mannequin and I came around the corner, I, I could not stop smiling. Um, so I love it. I absolutely love it. And I wore it, uh, I left his place after picking it up, wore it down uh, to see a friend in uh, Soho. And of course, walking the street, someone was like, I love your jacket. I'm like, here we go, here we go. So I have a lab coat just to comparison because I know people are like, it looks like a lab coat. I'm gonna show, so this is my chore coat here, okay? I'm gonna put on a lab coat and you can see the difference here. This is a lab coat. So I own a lab coat because I do auditions and I've played a lot of doctors. So I invested in a lab coat for the audition. So this is a lab coat. <laughs> so you can see the difference. All right. <laughs> now let's go back to where it all started. It all started with this chore coat from Grown and Sewn. This one is called the Heartland, and this is the pattern that he uses to make my coats, my leather ones. So uh, when I went to pick up the white one, he said, he said, this one is better than the first one. He said, because I now have the pattern and I've tweaked the pattern here and there. He said, so now this one is perfect. And he said, and it fits you perfectly. So that just made me <laughs> even more excited about the whole process. But this is the original, this is where it started, and this is the, the pattern he used. And I'll show you the, um, if you haven't been following or new to, to the channel, I'll show you the first one I had made. Um, so this is the first one he made for me. This one is in sheepskin. And he said the white one is better <laughs> because he figured out the pattern. Um, or he just tweaked the pattern a bit. But um, this one, as I stated, when I wear it, I get tons of compliments. People ask me, oh, where is it? Uh, where's your jacket from? I like your jacket. And I tell them, you know, it's custom made. It's my own. And they really go crazy for that. They like that idea. So just to have a second look at this one. This one I've worn quite often. And I think I've even worn it. I think I, actually I did. I wore it and it like rained a little bit, like a little drizzle. Um, and I wore it just to... Try it out and see how, you know, it's a rough out. Rough out can take a beating. So, but yeah, this one is, uh, this one's a beauty. But the white one, I'm going to show you the details on that one right now. So as you can see with the white one, I have horn buttons on here. And the leather is textured as well, as you can see. It has a nice texture to it. And then what I did uh, differently on this jacket versus this one is I had the buttons reinforced in the back. So I'll show you. So uh, if you look here, you have the button and then I bought smaller buttons to reinforce that. So if you look at this one, there's no button on the back to reinforce. So it was kind of something that uh, when I was thinking, okay, what can I do? Cause I kind of worried that I'm gonna lose a button because it's not uh, it feels maybe unstable, so I just wanted to have that. Even though it may not be, it's just, you never know. Um, and then also, just to show you, he did this again. Right there. My name on the inside pocket. I love an inside pocket. I need an inside pocket. <laughs> That's one of the things that I look for when purchasing a new jacket. So if I'm going to have one made, I'm going to put an inside pocket in there for uh, either wallet or 
throw your money in there or something. Um, it's just something that I, I absolutely need. But yes, completely over the moon with this white chore coat. It's so sick. It's absolutely sick. And uh, I can't wait to get it all dirty and mucked up. But actually, it's, I, I was wearing uh, denim yesterday when I wore the jacket and it already started to crock a bit, which I'm like, eh, I gotta be careful with that. I'll show you that. You see a little bit of that crocking right there. So if I'm wearing any kind of indigo, it's definitely going to start to rub. So I gotta be careful with that for sure. But, uh, very pleased. And, uh, probably in March I'll work on the a one in rough out. So stay tuned for that. All right. See you guys next time. Be a boot. Be good, be safe. This is fun. It's a lot of fun. See you guys next time.